Hello, it's Karima here again and I'm here with this week's topic uh, which is how do you feel about this time of uh, the year about Lunasat or Lamas. I started uh, to like Lamas I'd say just like year or two years ago. Uh, it uh, it used to be my less favorite Sabbath, I have to I have to say. I'm not exactly sure why, because uh, I like summer, I love autumn, but I like summer as well. And uh, it was uh, usually the time when I was working with a coven. It was uh, usually the time when uh, most people left. When somebody wanted to leave uh, coven, they usually did. Uh, during Lunasat or before Lunasat or straight after Lunasat, straight after the celebration. So I'd say that uh, from social point of view it just started to be uh, a Sabbath for me which uh, filled me with some kind of worries maybe. So uh, in previous years sometimes there was Lunasat which I didn't enjoy much. Uh, but. Uh, I also can appreciate all those lovely and positive uh, things which are connected with Lunasat, which is kind of first harvest, which is uh, the first time when we can really, really see and we can really, really hold things uh, which we were working on from the beginning of the year, which we wished for on the beginning of the year, which we saw, which we started uh, helping with growing and uh, then it just came. It usually comes in this time of the year. It usually starts to be like, now you shall see what, uh, what did you actually saw. Now you will harvest what, uh, did you, plant, what you planted. So I think that uh, it's a... Uh, it's a really lovely Sabbath for most most of uh, the witches and uh, it's a lovely Sabbath uh, for me as well just uh, as I said it's uh, it has it had some sad moments in the past for me so maybe maybe that's it anyway uh, Lunasad is a time of sun and finally <laughs> Finally, I have sun for uh, my video for this uh, part of the year. In previous videos for uh, Midsummer and for Beltane, it just didn't work at all. I always started like, oh yeah, it's starting to be so sunny and the weather just didn't correspond with it at all in the video. So now, finally, it's really here. The heat waves are really here and uh, all the stuff is really blooming in its best and... Uh, bring in fruits and I'd say that we should really really appreciate all, the, all those fruits that Lunasad brings and that Earth, Earth is providing us with and uh, since I'm talking about Earth I think that Lunasad uh, might start to be uh, for me especially but maybe also for more of uh, us which, which is pagans, uh, magicians or all, all the people all the humankind and all the planet, uh, the time when uh, we should think about the heat. We should think about that maybe we could do something so our planet or the planet on which we have that great opportunity to live uh, is not warming up more and more and more and drying and uh, torturing uh, her kids, her animals, uh, with total angry heat and uh, with forest fires and with, uh, with dry times, with times when all of the creatures are thirsty and have no place to hide from such a heat. and. Uh, I think that it's a very important environmental question uh, which we could use as a philosophical topic but in the same time as a really really real and uh, 
really important topic for our meditations and possibly for our prayers to gods and to Mother Earth as well during this time because this time is the time which uh, is uh, from my point of view starting to be quite a time of uh, luck of water uh, and uh, of too much of that fire energy maybe at some times at some points so this is just a bit bitter thought <laughs> in the end connected uh, with Luna Sad but I'd say that it uh, needed to be said say said yeah okay so that's uh, my Luna Sad that's uh, even the thing uh, about which I'm going to think uh, about a lot during this time and see you soon